What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, you know, it's not working without you guys. So thank God you guys are here. So here we are. We're a little over 24 hours away from the draft. 24 hours, guys. Tomorrow, we'll be up here cooking. My, my man David Wiley's going to be here. We're going to get a big piece of meat to cook because you got to have a lot of meat. You got to have a big piece of meat when it comes to the draft. We're going to have some chicken wings for Joe Boo. We're going to be doing it up like you know we do. Um, and tonight, 630, I'll be going to battle with Philly 500. You, you know, that's my boy. That's my boy. My boy, Philly 500. We're going to be hitting it up, mixing it up a little bit, get his pregame jitters out of the way, and uh, have a little fun. In the meantime and in between time, this is the time that you hear all kinds of rumors and things. I remember some years back, I don't know if you guys do or not, but there was one Johnny Manziel, show me the money guy. Johnny Manziel, it was rumored that Jerry Jones, <laughs> that Jerry Jones, he loved Johnny Manziel. And I remember where they were literally talking about the Dallas Cowboys are desperate to get Johnny Manziel, that they will do whatever it takes to get there and get Johnny Manziel. Because they're talking about all kinds of scenarios where the Cowboys were thinking about moving up, that they were enamored, that he was going to be the heir apparent to Tony Romo. And here it was draft day. Everybody, the Cowboys, they're going to move up. The Cowboys are going to make a move. And there it was, Johnny Manziel going through the first couple of picks and not there. A couple more picks. Johnny Manziel, the Cowboys, you know, they're itchy trigger finger. Throughout the draft, until the Cowboys actually got up there and they drafted Zach Martin, they were still sure that the Cowboys, oh my goodness, Johnny Manziel is still there. The Cowboys are up. We know it's going to be Johnny Manziel. Oh, it was Zach Martin. So you'll hear all kinds of rumors and stories and everything else that are going to make you look and click and think, oh my God, that that's the case. Because what you really want to do is you want to baffle people with bullshit. You don't want them to actually know what your real plans are. That's why we've heard things about Jerry Jones talking about moving up. That, you know, there's not really that impact player there in, in, in the first, you know, in, in the second half of the first round and stuff. And then, of course, you're seeing the Jones talking about there's not really great players up front. There's better players, actually, better value at the second, third, and fourth round. Okay. So which is it? Well, who knows? We won't know until tomorrow what the Cowboys are really thinking. You're going to get a lot of stuff. So being reported by Mike Fisher, and he said the story to come later on, is that he has two sources from league offices that say that the Cowboys are looking for trade partners and are desperate to move up. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. It might be. But when we go through what was said yesterday in the pre-draft thing, if we are to actually take what they said as in what they're really thinking, Stephen Jones says there is no, you know, must-draft guy, that position that they have to get. If that's the case, then you look and say, how can I get an impact guy, which would be the reason to try and move up. If you deem somebody up there in the top half of the draft that could be an instant impact guy, game changer, defensive rookie or offensive rookie of the year type player, that if you get him and put him on your team, that you have the kind of impact that you had with Micah Parsons. That could be a reason to do that. I don't think, though, that that's the best course of action for the Cowboys because regardless of Stephen Jones saying that we don't have any must-draft positions, I say that there's a lot of positions that need some must upgrades. You know guard is one of them. You know tight end is one of them. You know wide receiver is one of them. You know linebacker is one of them. You know that edge rusher is one of them. And you know defensive tackle is. Now, the problem of moving up there 
with to the top four in, in the top four team is that's going to cost you a lot of draft capital. So what you're talking about a minimum to move up from 24 to 14, that's 10 spots. It's going to be your first and second round pick and maybe another pick on top of that. You probably have to throw in one of those many fifth round picks that you have at least to get there. And I'm not sure that, although the Cowboys have not had a lot of success with their second round picks, when you look at it in the last 10 years, the best three would be Diggs, which is outstanding, Jalen Smith, and Connor Williams. Other than that, you look at them and say, so far, we haven't gotten much out of that situation. Um, Kevin Joseph was last year's, and you know he wasn't an instant impact guy. Um, you look at uh, Tristan Hill, another one. And I mean, there's been not a lot of success with the second round pick. So I can understand that maybe you look and say, okay, we take the second and the first and try and get a guy of the level of Micah Parsons, because now you're in that same kind of range that we drafted last year. But I don't think that that's going to be the case. I don't think, I don't believe that they're going to move up there. But then again, what do I know? On the other side of this, when you say that the team is on the phone, that's kind of like when... I'll wait for the wind to stop. It's chilly today. It's about 59 degrees. And uh, it's cooler. You know, it was 79, 80 degrees a couple days ago. But that's springtime here um, this time of year. But when you say the Cowboys are on the phone, well, of course you're on the phone. This is the draft. If you've ever seen the movie Draft Day, of course you work the phones. You call people and say, hey, what you got? You're looking for something. Maybe we got a player you might be interested in and making a trade. So that's not out of the ordinary that they would be on the phone talking to people and saying, you know, if you've got something, a deal you want to make, you know, or maybe you got a player, you know, maybe we could do something. But desperate, I don't know that they're desperate to do something. Desperate would be, I don't have a quarterback. And I need to get up there to try and get one of these guys. That's desperation. There may be a want would be a better thing to say. There may be a guy they want to have on their team. But I don't know that it's desperation that you have to have somebody. But, again, what do I know? We'll find out tomorrow. The water is a little low in the pond right now. Um, i got to add some more in here get back up so the water's really flowing in here can't believe how big they're gotten. It just doesn't make sense to me how they don't eat all winter, but yet they still grow. Mother Nature, she cray cray. All right, I'll see you tonight, 6.30, with Philly 500. Peace.